Hey guys, what is going on? So today I want to be talking about three amazing things. So those are routines, rituals, and essentially objectives, right? And if you have these three things in place, they're really going to set you apart from the people who do not have these in place. So I'm just going to break them down one by one. So number one is routine. So when we're talking about routines, I first want to be going over the morning routine because I used to be the type of person, and maybe some of you guys can relate to this, is to, you know, just wake up. The first thing you do is check your phone, check your messages, and not giving yourself even enough time to do the things you want to be doing in the morning because you didn't like go to bed on time, right? So there's no structure in the evening and morning. So essentially, I didn't even get to like brushing my teeth or doing my hair because, you know, I just didn't have a routine in place. So I just started the day off reactively by checking my phone, um, you know, and sometimes when I get like a bad, hack, bad text from my friend as soon as I woke up, I started the day off negatively by reacting to external things, right? So for instance, like the text message I got from my friend, and that is a horrible start of the day. Plus on top of that, I didn't even give myself enough time to brush my teeth or do my hair or even eat breakfast. I had to go right away, put on my clothes and head off to my internship. And that is not the most efficient way to go ahead and start your morning, right? And then I started looking deeper into morning routines as soon as like I joined my first mindset course, which was uh, Kaizen Cure from Imagachi. So that made a huge difference. So I would start waking up and going to bed at a specific time, right? So I started waking up at 5.30 a.m. in the morning and I have this app called Alarmy and it is free and it's for everyone to use and I do highly recommend it if you have a hard time, you know, not hitting snooze, right? Because I think like we're all guilty of that. So what it essentially does is I have it integrated with, you know, a QR, QR code. Um, so basically with my water bottle or like you can do it from like, you know, your espresso if you like to drink espresso in the morning. Um, so what I do is I put it all the way at the end of my bathroom and I have to physically stand up and scan like the code with my phone, um, which is also on the desk before my alarm even goes up, right? And this physically forces you to go ahead and get out of bed, right? So what I did then, so this is like my morning routine. I woke up, got a QR code settled, and then I did 10 push-ups, okay? Three productive tasks in the morning, uh, in a one minute time frame. So 10 push-ups, make up my bed, and drink 500 milliliters of water, right? And then what I did, uh, I grabbed my preset clothes that I did in the evening up front, and that way, like, you know, there's less decision fatigue when you want to go ahead and, um, you know, uh, you, you don't want to be like thinking in the morning because your brain is like dehydrated, it's just waking up. So I found like all the work uh, in the evening up front. So that really helped me like in the morning to not think about things like, you know, what I want to wear, stuff like that. Uh, my gym clothes were also ready. So grabbed my clothes, went to the bathroom, did like all the hygiene stuff, made my hair up, uh, brushed my teeth, etc., etc. Then I went back to my room. Um, and first thing I did was meditation, right? So I started with like meditating for 10 minutes. You can also use this free app. It's called Headspace. And I started meditating for five minutes and every single day I upped it with like one minute. Um, but you know, like this varies from individual to individual. So if you prefer to do like on a weekly basis, do it. Um, as long as like, you know, you go up in the amount of minutes you meditate, because this is just like gonna help you in a lot of aspects. Okay, meditation has a lot of benefits. So essentially after meditation, I also had something called the five minute journal. And what it essentially is, it is like a kind of a question list where, you know, the first question is, so um, today I'm grateful for, and then, you know, um, I'm gonna be focusing on these three things today and just essentially just preparing yourself for success for the whole day. So I did that and then I started going to the gym. So I went in, uh, to the gym in the morning too and that is like a completely different way of starting your day. So I made time for personal development, uh, self-education, I also read a book after the affirmations, I apologize for not mentioning that. And I read The Miracle Morning and it is just like showing um, exactly what I'm like telling you about here right now. Um, you know, like how most people start a day versus like how you should start your day, you know, and why you should do so by, you know, having like a routine and structure in place. So essentially guys, that is it about routines and objectives, right? So the beauty in life is, is that we can essentially get anything we want. But the thing is, you have to be really clear on what you want, right? So decide what you want in life, set like a clear and realistic and motivating objective at the same time and reverse engineer it. Know for a fact what kind of daily actions you have to take and don't deviate from that. Like it, it is literally that simple. It may like sound too good to be true, but it's literally that simple, right? So for instance, if you wanna close a thousand dollar client, what do you have to do, right? So if you've already determined like which niche you're gonna help, you have an offer, all you have to do is client acquisition and sales, right? You have to convert them, right? It's from uh, a meeting to a paying client. 
that's all it takes. Like don't deviate from like, oh, so I gotta like set up my payment processor, I gotta get my website up, I gotta get my contractor in place, I gotta do this and that, because most people do that because they're afraid of those two things and they go ahead and look for busy work. But it's not really that hard if you determine your objective and you take the actions you have to take in order to get there. All right, guys, so that is just something I wanted to share today. So I hope this helped you guys. If you have some questions about even the evening routine, uh, which I will go over at another time, um, feel, free to, feel free to like ask in the comments down below and I'll happily answer those for you. So guys, thank you for watching this video and uh, I'll be seeing you in the next one.